G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I've got a chessboard. Oh, I've had it for a while, but I haven't done it yet because it's a bit daunting really. There's so many pieces. Uh, I just got it on Amazon. It came with all the chess piece molds and they're full like they're not those half ones I didn't want the half ones you know and then you have to try and stick them together or something so that's that's them so yeah it came with came with all the pieces uh, two four six eight um, no maybe not how, how many little pawns have we got I think that's yeah, I've got eight. <laughs> eight pawns. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. <laughs> you can tell I don't really play chess very often, hey? So anyway, that's them. So when you put the resin in, they've got this little stand that you can rest them on like that. So um, I'm going to do black and white with touches of gold. So it all came in this little, these pieces came in this little bag, and it also came with a set of checkers. So checker mold, so you can make you know checkers later on to go with it. So shall we get started then? Now the first thing I want to do, um, like I said, I'm doing black and white, so I'm going to use the cast and craft white and the cast and craft black um, just for the squares. But I do want to. I don't know if you can see this little raised lines here. The black fluff from the bag has kind of gone everywhere. <laughs> so I've had to clean it twice already with tape. And it's got like, yeah, black fluff everywhere. They obviously put the bag on top of the mold. So yeah, this is my second bit of tape. So, but I wanna, what I wanna do is, I wanna, first of all, I wanna go over all these little raised lines with my black pen. So when you turn it over, you'll have gold lines between all your squares. So I'm gonna make a little start on it. I did one just to see if it would actually work. You're going to make sure that your pen doesn't have any fluffy bits on it. Or use a new pen ideally. Um, because you don't want the pen hanging over the line. You just want to do the line. You don't want the pen hanging over and then going onto the, the mould itself. So it's going to take me a little while. I'm just trying to do the top. Don't want to do the sides of this of these little raised sections Woo look at me go I'm doing it I'm doing it I'm not going to do the whole thing now in front of you I will oh look at that see I've missed I missed all right this is where you get your baby wipe out and clean it up because if you get any on the actual piece itself um, that's what you're going to see on the other side because what you're looking at now is the is the bottom um, so whatever's touching the mold is going to be the top. So just be careful. Try and just do that. It's going to take me a while. See, there's also this edge here, this outside edge. I'm going to have to peel back the side a bit so I can see what I'm doing. And then every now and then I've got to give it a shake to get that colour to come. Oh, gosh. I made another mistake. All right, this is going to take me a little while. That's my baby wipe. Probably concentrate a little bit more when you're not all watching me. Hey, probably, but yeah, make sure that your nib of your pen is nice and straight. You don't want any loose hairs um, that go down the side because then you'll just be painting the side of the mold. All right, so I'm going to do that. It shouldn't take me too long. It's just, you know, it's not difficult. It's just, just fiddly. So I'm just going to do that. I'll have to move these out of the way because my hand's going to knock them. Um, you don't need to see me doing it. I'll just, I'll do it and then I'll mix up my resin and I'll come back to you. Righto, I am done with that. And what I have learnt from that is because I'm right-handed, start on the left. Because if you start on the right, then you're putting your hand in wet gold paint. So if you're right-handed, start on the left, work your way down. Right, um, I've made up some black resin. Um, I just, I don't know how much to make up, you guys. I made up 
150 grams of A and 65 grams of B. And I'm using my thinnest resin, which is the Platinum Ultra Clear. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start with black in the corner and I'm going to go diagonally across like that and end with black in the corner. So two black corners and then we'll have two white corners. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to put a little puddle in the middle of each one to start with and let it let it just you know find its own way I don't want to overflow anything that would just be horrendous if I made a big mess at this stage so I'd rather put a little bit less in let it settle and um, hopefully find its own way and I've made a tiny little black drip in that one which I need to get out because that's going to be white all right so I think this is going to take me a while, you guys. Uh, oh, I think it is. All right, so because I've got one of everything, so I've got them, I don't know if you can see, I've got them lined up on the side there, just so that my hand's not going to be knocking them. So I'm going to have to do this in two stages. I'm going to do all the black first, and I'm going to pour black into these, and then I'll come back and do the white, but not, well, one they've unmolded, and then I can put white in all of those again. All right, so you do have to do it in in um, like a, a couple of... couple of times I guess. All right now the next one I need my little thingy again actually I might start here so we skip one and then this one's black again isn't it oh gosh I hope so I had to look up the photo of what it looked like oh, I don't want to I don't want to do it wrong be careful you don't drip only fill up your little paper cup halfway I thought about doing a syringe and I thought, mm, what if I squirt too hard with the syringe and it goes everywhere? So I just thought, and then I thought, um, you know, a piping bag, but then, oh, that can be, that can be awfully messy. So a little paper cup that I can just pinch the edge like that. And away we go. So I will come back and level these out. But yeah, I don't want to put too much in them now. I'd rather come back and, and fill them up. But yeah, I, um, I think I'll be surprised as to how much it actually takes. So that's empty. I'm going to fill up my little cup again. Only halfway. If you fill it up more than halfway, it doesn't pour properly. It just kind of all pours down the side. So you're better off just filling it halfway. All right. Keep going. Whoa, that one's got quite a bit. Don't overflow, don't overflow. Maybe that's how much it actually needs. And then oh, I think I've worked it out right, you guys. Look, I've got a, a little a little square left for my black. And my white, I should say. Get off there. You're a bit full. Yes, you are. I'm gonna oh gosh. I'm gonna take a bit out. I wasn't being too careful with that one and I've put a bit much in. I find this is my best way of taking resin out. Oh, God, I'm going to have to clean this one up. I would have to stuff it up, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe a little spoon. I have got a little spoon. You need a lot of paper towels ready to go, ready to clean up. Because even though you try not to go over, I'm sure we're all going to go over at some stage. Okay, I'm just going to do that because there's not enough in there to actually scoop, but I'm just going to stick it onto the back of the spoon and wipe it off. How's that? They don't take very much at all, these little squares, but obviously that one was a bit too much. All right, try and clean up as I go. I don't want a huge mess at the end of this. But yeah, it's certainly going to be an experience. How am I going to get this now? Clean that gold off. I'm going to clean off my little gold strip, that's all. Because it had a bit of resin going over it. Alright, um, let's, let's keep going. Keep going. I'm not going to bore you with doing the whole thing. I'll probably um, maybe do some more of the black, but then when I do the, the next one, like the white, I'll probably just fast forward it. Right, so while that's kind of settling, I'm going to see how I go with these. This one here, 
it's got a bit of paper under it. It was leaning for some reason, so I've just got a little bit of card and I've popped it under there just because it was leaning. Now, these ones I think are going to be quite tricky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hold them up here, <clears throat> I think, and I'm going to pour it in. Now, it's got a little... Oh gosh, I've gone down the side. That's what I didn't want to do. It's got a little... Um, it's a little ring around the edge there, and I only want to pour up to that. I'm going to have to clean this now. I only want to pour up to that little ring because then I want to, on the tops, or they'll be the bottoms of all of these, I want to have my my um, gold leaf. So I want to kind of give it a bit of a, a squeeze, make sure that it's gone in, and then I'm going to do the next one, all right? See how that goes. Can you see the little line there? I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I'm going to try just to fill up to that line, just, just over the line. I've got a bubble. Roughly. Look, I mean, if it goes over a touch, it goes over a touch. But I do want to... Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to be really careful. I don't knock all these over. Might be better just to try and do it from here. Oh, look. There's, is that a bubble? Yeah, that's a bubble. Oh, gosh. All right. Give them a bit of a squeeze on the bottom. All right. Maybe I'll just leave them there. Otherwise, I might pick them up and move them. Have you guys done chess sets? Uh, if you're not already a member of um, Pouring Your Heart Out on Facebook, I would love to see your chess sets. Okay, it's going to make a bit of a mess. Look at that. I, I can come through with, with a, a baby wipe later and uh, <clears throat> clean up those sides. It's, it's kind of like static, you know, when you touch a, a balloon and your hair kind of sticks to it. It's, it's like that. The resin's like pulling to the side. It wants to touch the sides. See, it just does. I will come back and clean that off later. I'd rather just keep going for now. See, with the little spout, I can get right down in there. I'm going just over that little line, that little mark. If you've got these, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, um, let's, do, let's do a little bit more in a couple of these that need doing. A little bit more. So, yeah, I've picked my thinnest resin, like I said, just so that it would flow nicely. It's got a long work time. Um, much longer than the 360 plus. I wouldn't attempt something like this with the 360 plus. It's a thicker resin and uh, it sets up much quicker. Why have you pulled away? I just took resin out of you and now you're pulling away again. Oh gosh, I dripped. I dripped. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit more in all of them and then I'm going to get my little silicon tool and I'm going to push it around. It's going to take a bit of a while. Hey, it's a labour of love, this. I think. But yeah, I'd love to see your creations with chess boards if you've done them. So feel free to join my Facebook group. The link is below. Pouring your heart out. And then you can show me what you've done. Okay, so that's empty as well now. Let's fill this up again. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my little silicone stick like this and just ever so gently just going to push it around. I don't really want to put any more resin in. I push it to the edges like that. Okay, easy peasy. Once most of the resin's done its thing and spread, just a little bit of pushing around that I need to do. And I need to fix you up because the, the drop dripped from the side of the cup and dripped onto that. So I need to fix that. Alrighty. So far, so good, you guys. I haven't stuffed it up too much. But look, I've never done a resin chessboard before. Like, you know, it's, it's certainly a learning curve. I've just got my baby wipe here and I'm going to go in and... 
fix up any little areas that need fixing up. Like so. Yep, you've gone over again. Yes, you know, it's obviously too full. This is the one I've added more to. All right, we'll come back to that. Um, so I think I'll, I'll I'll do these ones and then I'll stop the video and I'll just fiddle, okay, and cover all these up. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long video. You get the general idea of what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start up to this one. And these have got the line as well. Obviously, they, they're bigger, so they'll hold more, but I'm still going just above the line on all of them. So hopefully they'll be they'll all kind of look similar. Because once this black set, um, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put my clear with gold leaf. I'm going to crush up gold leaf and that's going to go in the tops of all of these, which will be the bottom and also the bottom of um, my board so that the edges will have the matching gold leaf. Does that make sense? Should look pretty. Make sure we wipe our little cup edge each time. But this is working better than I, <laughs> I was hoping. I thought maybe they were like going to all fall over and make a huge mess. But so far, so good, everybody. Everyone's behaving. Look at the bubbles. I'm just going to pop those with a toothpick. Don't really want a torch. But I'm um, happy to just pop them with a toothpick. There's some bubbles too. All right, so that's me. Um... I'm, like I said, I'm just going to finish the squares. You're not going to miss out on anything. Um, I'll come back to you when it's time to do the white. So excited! It's working, you guys. Right, so, so it's later on in the same day. Uh, it's in the evening. The black has set up enough. I mean, it still le leaves a little dent when I poke it with a toothpick, so... Um, but it'll be fine for doing the top coat. Now, I have got my gold metal leaf flakes. And I just mixed some in with some clear resin. Um, again, wasn't sure how much to use. Um, I did 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. Now, this is the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, because there's, there's not lots of little details and things oh I, I must tell you too these see those little rings down the side there I actually had to pick each one up and just go around and because I, I could see that there were bubbles and I gave them a bit of a squish and got the bubble to pop out so a lot of them um yeah this this little ring around here um they did get bubbles in them so hopefully that's not a bubble down there <laughs> But yeah, it was a bit tricky. Oh, it's a little bit of a white bit there. I don't know if it's a bubble or not. But, and and the horse, the horse was a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, look, they weren't they weren't too difficult. I just when when I saw a bubble, I just squished it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my clear with my gold flake into a little cup here, a little paper cup. Just make it a bit easier for me. All right, here we go. So basically now all I need to do is fill them to the top. <laughs> Gold flakes are heavy. They're kind of sinking into the bottom of the cup. You may have to, whoa, there was a big blob. You have to um, really make sure that you break the gold leaf up because if there's a big blob in it, it ends up like that, a big blob. So I did try and break them up as I was putting them in, but obviously I missed a couple. So yeah, I, th I think this will look pretty. A little bit of, little bit of bling. This first one I did, I'm going to have to add a few flakes to it. So that last one I did, it's got way too many. I'd, I'd still like to see through the resin, so I don't want too too many flakes. This one seems to have. 
a lot. You can go and visit over there. Share the love. And I only knocked one over, <laughs> one of these over, and I, but I caught it in time, it didn't spill. A bit tricky, <laughs> a little bit tricky. There we go, that looks better. So yeah, you can just, you know, move them around with a toothpick if you find one's got a little bit too much. So I wanna bring these right up to the top with the clear. There we go. So the reason I did the 360 plus for this is a it's not the mold isn't that intricate. I can get away with a thicker resin and uh, also both resins should set at the same time because the black I did like I don't know six hours ago or something or more. Um, I did it this morning and it's now 730 in the evening so it takes a much longer to set up the um, Platinum Ultra Clear. So I'm hoping that the 360 Plus and the Ultra Clear will kind of set up at the same time now, tomorrow morning. And then I can do the white. So I'll unmold these because I need them to do the white, obviously. And I'll do the same thing, white most of the way up. And then um, the gold leaf at the top. Um, but yeah, I do need to unmold these first because I've got quite a lot left over. I didn't need all that. Probably, see, I'll, I'll make a note for myself next time just to do 50 and 22 rather than 75 and 32. Because I just looked at them and thought, oh yeah, maybe they'll take 10 grams each. Um, and there's 16 of them, so I thought that's about 160 grams if they took 10 grams each. But obviously they don't take 10 grams each. <laughs> probably only take five grams each if that this one's a bit much you've got a bit much in you I'm gonna get that out now like that it's the best way just dip dip in there and just get a little bit out all right just throw this away but yeah it was an awful sticky mess doing all these little fiddly Fiddly, itty bitty things. I must say, it was a bit, a bit fiddly. I don't really know what to do with the rest of that. I haven't got much of it. See, once I put my white in, I'll make up a big cup of this and cover the whole thing, and that way the the edges there will be will be gold, which is what my plan is. Um, now, just want to go and pop a little bit more gold flake in a couple of these that could do with a bit more. So basically that's it. Um, I'll leave you now and I'll just continue just to add a few little pieces of gold leaf just to those that need a little bit more just so that they're all kind of similar. And you've got a bit much. You're being a bit greedy. Greedy with your gold. Put a little bit more in a few of these. Let's bring them up to the top. You don't need a lot, that's for sure. Teensy bit. All right, so, um, yeah. Hopefully this will be pretty. I'll leave it at that and I will come back to you when these are ready to demold and we'll do the white. Right, this is the very exciting part. It's the next day. These little guys are set. I think they're set, they feel set. Now, I wonder if they come out easily. I'm just going to peel back. Oh, so far so good. Although there's a bump here though, isn't there? Why aren't you focusing? Ah, oh, issues of videoing. Oh gosh. Okay, there's a bump. Actually, someone said to me, I saw it on I saw it another video. If you spray some alcohol down there, it, it helps. Um, where's my little 
Here's my little alcoholy thing. I'm going to pop that on there because I don't want to get alcohol sprayed on that. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works. Just going to pop a little bit there. Well, now my hands are sticky. Well, not sticky, but slippery, wet. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, let's just ease it over like that. So that's that's the little bump thing there that I was telling you about that um, the bubbles were getting caught into it. I just don't want to pull too hard in case like I break the top right off it, you know. done oh gosh now we have to turn these all back inside out don't I Ugh. all right so obviously I'm not going to video unmolding all of these oh gosh how do you even get that back now <laughs> all right. oh I'll leave it let's have a look at this let's have a look so that is what I wanted it to be see how the um the bottom's clear and it's got a little bit of the gold in it. I think it looks really pretty. Just checking it. Oh, there's a tiny little, one tiny little bubble hole just there. So anyway, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do the rest. I wonder if these ones will be easier because they're smaller. Let's see. That was the biggest one. I had to choose the biggest one to start, didn't I? That's the that's the king. He's the biggest one. So I would have to start with that one, wouldn't I? Make it difficult for myself. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at it! I had no idea sort of what shape it was going to be because I couldn't see, like, in there. Oh, well, I guess I could see it. It's, it's round, but look at it. Isn't it so sweet? It's so cute. There he is. All right, so there's two down. 14 to go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go and do that. Um, and then I'll come, with, I'll come back to you when it's time to um, put the white in and fill these up with white. If I can, now oh, that one pops out okay. So they need the same thing with the white. So I'll do those when I do these. Righto, see you then. So before I get started with the white, I just wanted to show you real quick, if I can. So that's the queen, that's the king, aren't they gorgeous? So pretty. Put them over here in these little squares that don't have anything on them yet. There's some of the pawns. They've turned out really pretty. There's no bubbles in them. Really happy with them. And we'll have to move these all away in a minute. And what have we else have we got? We've got a couple of horses and they, they, oh. The knights, the horsies, <laughs> really pretty, nice and shiny, love the bases. You can see there where I, I stopped them all at that line there, so they're all the same, they've all got the same base. And then these ones, the castles I call them, are they the, um, are they the bishops? Bishops, not sure. Gosh, I need to go. I need to um, brush up on my on my chess skills. Or are these the bishops? Oh gosh, I'm not doing very well, am I? <laughs> I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, read up on them. A couple more little pawns, but yeah, they've t everything's turned out really, really pretty. Look at that little features there so pretty love all the gold i found one bubble in the whole thing um, and that was on the 
the king that I showed you earlier. Like one, one tiny bubble in the whole the whole thing. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I've done really well with um, getting the the bubbles out. All right, put you on hold, pause, uh, mix up my white, and we'll do it all again. So this time I've mixed up uh, 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B because last time I had too much, too much black resin and we'll go again. Now I'm not going to put as much in this time. I did have to take a little bit out of a couple of them. So I'd rather go a little bit less than too much. Uh, using the Platinum Ultra Clear again, nice thin resin with a long work time. And uh, I'm going to do the same with the little... Oh, I remembered its name. It was a rook. <laughs> a rook. That's it. The castle. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. All right, so um, I'm, I'll just do a little bit and then I'm going to stop the video and put you on um, fast forward, okay? Because you know what I'm doing. So I'm going to go up to the first little, little ring there. There's a little line in there. You probably can't see it, but I'm going to go up to the same one and just pour carefully and then after you've done that once it's had it probably not as easy to tell actually with the white um, you could tell with the black if there was a bubble I just went and like gave it a a bit of a squeeze especially on this little rim here maybe don't fill it up all the way because um, when you squeeze it the resin's going to come up but make sure you go and squeeze it all the way around. Get rid of any, see there was an air bubble in there. See how it's popped up? And then you can zap it later. All right. She'll start up here with this little guy. I'm going to do just below the line on all of them. And then give them all a bit of a squeeze. Because when I give them a squeeze, it, it all comes up higher. So these ones don't actually, uh, no, they, they don't really have a line, some of these. I'm just guesstimating. All right, so I'm going to fill up my little cup. I'll keep going and uh, I will see you all at the end. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there's no, there's no resin in his little in the horse's nose there. I don't know if you can see it or not. So anyway, we'll just give it a squeeze like that. Get the resin to come down into his little nose. See the bubble there? That's the bubble that was in his nose. Um, I will have to get a baby wipe and clean around there. So it's probably a good idea actually just to half fill them, give them a squeeze, um, and that way you don't have to go and clean up. And also with the, the rook, it's got all those little pointy bits on top. You're going to make sure that you don't have any bubbles in those. So again, go around, squeeze. See the bubbles that have come up? So those were the bubbles that were in the bottom here. So there's lots of bubbles coming up now. So it just shows you what was down there in there. Anyway, I will keep going, like I said. I oh, will be back when it's time to put the gold leaf on the top, all right? Enjoy the video.
right, so it's been about five hours since I poured my white. I've checked it with the toothpick. Uh, it's, it doesn't leave a sticky train, but it leaves a little dent. So I'm confident that I can pour my clear with my gold leaf on, same as I did with the black. Um, what I'm going to do first, though, is because it's starting to get warm because it's quite deep. This is the 360 plus again. Um, so it should set up at the same time as all this tomorrow morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour on here first because I want... I want my edges to be the, that's the only reason why I'm doing all of this is because I want my edge um, to have the same gold leaf that matches all my chess pieces. So that's why I'm doing this. Oops, I've just gone over. Um, you don't have to have it so complicated. I mean, if you're just doing two colours instead of the three like I'm doing, you can just, you know, put down your black for instance, or maybe I would suggest you would just do your white ones, let them set, and then pour black over the whole thing. That way your edge will be black and then your missing squares will be black. So it does simplify it. Oh, look at this. I'm going to use all of this. But yeah, because I wanted it to be three colours, it's taken me a little bit longer. But you certainly don't have to. You can just, like I said, just pour twice. Do your white squares, let them set up a bit, and then pour black. Now this is the, this is going to be the back, okay, in case you're wondering what it looks like this. This is the back, the underside. All right, I'm going to have to make up some more resin, which is not a problem. <laughs> the others, when I did my others, I mixed up um, too much. So that was, uh, like I said, the 360 plus. I did 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B, so 286 grams. And we are only about halfway up the sides. So um, I'm going to mix up another cup of resin. Actually, I might even do the same again, the 286, because I still need to do all of these. I, I didn't think it would take so much. I will work out, once I've done this, the whole thing, I'll work out exactly how much I used for the whole job. Um, and then I'll tell you, I'll break it down. All right, back in a sec with more resin. Right, here we go again. Another big cup of resin with gold leaf. And I'm going to keep some in here. I've tried to mix them so that they're quite small. I don't want them too big because I want them to look like, well, you can't see, underneath the black there, the, underneath those ones. If you don't break up your pieces, like I know it's a bit of a pain, but try and break them up. Otherwise, you get clumps of the, the leaves that um, sort of are still stuck together. So try and separate all your pieces first. It's a bit of a pain, but it is important. All right, here we go. I'll keep some... So again, just get rid of some of this because it gets very hot when it's in a, a deep cup. I'll spread that out. So I want to use some for my, my little pieces here. And then if I've got anything left, I'll pop it back into the mould. All right, here we go. So just same as before, filling... It up and of course the gold all sinks to the bottom give it a stir real quick sometimes I have to come back and add a few pieces <laughs> that one's got a lot but yeah try and give it a stir before you pour because they do tend to sink to the bottom they're heavier whoops I spilt This is quite a fun project. I know it's taken a long time. I could have made three videos in the space of time that it's taken to do one video, but it's something new and interesting, like I've never done it before. So I like to challenge myself. Let's get a piece of paper towel to catch the drips. All right, here we go on the other side. That was, see, that was a big blob that went out. <laughs> a big 
big blob because I hadn't separated those pieces. So I'll just take him out. And don't try and do it with your gloves on. Oh my gosh. Uh, just the pieces just stick to your gloves. That's another one that's going to need a couple more bits of gold. And there's another big chunk that's fallen in. Oops, get you out. See, huge big, it's a few leaves stuck together there. Now I'm just going to add a bit more to my little cup here. And if you find you haven't got enough gold, then you know you can always go back to your little gold leaf container and grab a few pieces out and pop them in. Hope I've made up enough this time. Fill up my little cup again, give it a stir. This, I'm going to keep this chest set. This is staying in my house. It's not going anywhere. I think I'm going to love it. Absolutely love it. I'm really liking it so far. So hopefully it will work out and I can keep it for myself. I'll take a bit of these big pieces out. The other thing I need to make sure is because we're, when you turn this over, you're only going to see the gold leaf on these little edges here. So I need to make sure that I've got enough gold leaf. I did go around with my little silicone stick all the way around <clears throat> just to make sure, well, try and hopefully there's, make sure there's not any bubbles clinging to the sides because you don't want holes in your piece. So I just want to make sure that I've got enough gold along the edges uh, because that's what you're going to see, aren't you? So, if there's not enough, I'm just going to sort of evenly distribute them because see, this little edge here, this is what you're going to see of the gold leaf. You're not going to see that. It's going to be underneath. You'll be able to see it if you flip it over, obviously, but from the top you won't be able to see that. So, we'll just push these around a bit. Make them look pretty, evenly spaced. Push some over if there's a gap. Make it look as nice as you can, basically. Okay, there we go. It doesn't have to be too, too clumpy. Because, you know, you do want to have that little bit of transparency to match your pieces. All right, I think that looks nice. Now, um, this one here seems to have a few too many. So, you can just share over here. It's difficult when they just pour out of the cup. <laughs> they just come out however they want. And a lot of the gold sort of falls to the bottom of the cup. But that's okay, you can just move your pieces around. If one's got more than the other, just share. Now this little guy in the end here, he needs more. Definitely needs more. Let's see if I can get some out. There's a big bit. I don't want to put too much resin in there because it'll be overflowing. I just want to add some pieces. You're a very big chunky bit. Anyway, I will play with that later. I won't bother you with it now. Right, so let's scrape out what was in here. So we're going to need all this resin. And I should have kept a little bit, shouldn't I? In my Piece. Now, how are we looking? I'm looking down from the side. It's still not full, but I'm going to pour all the rest of this on. I didn't realise it would take so much, you know? But it is quite deep, the, the background here, the, the back piece. It is quite deep. Okay. 
All right, get all that out. Okay, so that's it. Done. How's that looking? It's still not totally to the top. It's about two millimetres from the top. Quick little torch. It's very thin, cheap silicone, this mould. You know, the type. Um, so, yeah, just got to be really careful with the heat. I mean, you do have to with all, all silicone moulds, but these ones in particular, just be really careful with them. All right, so that's it. Um, I've kept a few little pieces of gold. This one's a bit full now to take a bit of resin out. Just poke that paper towel in there and it, it's just enough just to get a few drops out. That's all you need. They're only little pieces. They just need a few drops taken out and then a little bit more gold put into that one. I'm sorry if it's too long this video. Like, I don't know. I'm having fun. I did shorten it a little bit, you know, with the fast forward, but if you're trying to learn, it's difficult if you're fast forwarding everything. Come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I can see a little collection of bubbles in the centre here of all of these. So I will come through with my little baby torch. It's a bit of a clump, that one. All right, I can fiddle around with that later on. Let's give my gloves a spray with the alcohol so they're not so sticky. And then I can pick this little baby torch up and go zap, 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 zap. Just one little zap in the top of each. Oh, you're a bit full. I'll have to take a bit out of there. And these, there's a couple that need a little bit more gold. So there we go. Um, yeah, looking good so far, you guys. Oh, I'm going to love this, I tell you. I just hope it looks really pretty on the, on the other side when we take it out of the mould. So that will be tomorrow. Yay, tomorrow morning. All right, this is a three-day thing. First day black wait five hours put the gold in next day unmolded did the white wait five hours put the gold in and the backing and then the next day unmolding everything <laughs> all right see you tomorrow hey guys i'm back it's the next day let's get this out oh my gosh it's quite heavy <laughs> I guess you don't have to fill it up to right up to the top, but um, yeah, I, I did. It's it's quite heavy. All right, let's um, let's get it out. The um, because it's because I poured this top layer so thick, um, the um, the resin got really quite hot. A little bit of overflow there. It's all right. Um, yeah, it got quite hot, and I was <laughs> really worried that it was going to like damage the mold or stick to the mold but it's it's coming out good so far so far so good hopefully it'll be all right oh it's out oh my god oh look and all the gold has come off all right oh my gosh oh i'm looking everything over <clears throat> all right this is I'm nervous this is nerve-wracking are we ready <gasps> let's have a look Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I was just having a look to see what these little tiny speckles were, but I think it's the, um, the gold flake from the other side. I love that side too. Oh, wow. Because, um, okay, so probably I won't do that next time. Um, I didn't wait until the white had set up like fully. It was touch dry. And obviously some of the, um, you can see kind of the flakes through them. Wow. Still really pretty though. All right. Now you can kind of see what I was going for. Hey, with the, um, the gold edge. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what that mark is. Oh, look, you know, they're, they're not, um, yeah, there's a mark on the mould. It's a line that goes across. 
yeah okay anyway um if you do if you do have any marks on your piece whatever it is um you know from a mold you can just do a top coat over that if you wanted to you could just do a top coat flood coat right up to the edges um, and it'll hide any little marks and things that you have but look my first attempt doing this so I've learned a lot a lot you guys leaving you till last <laughs> the king I've learned a lot so um yes but um I think not a bad attempt so far for my first try now be careful when you're doing these that the little ball doesn't fall off <laughs> I was watching somebody else's video um and um the little ball snapped right off That one I didn't go quite as far down as on the black. <laughs> Yay! All right, so you can go there. You can go there. Pop these back. All right, let's get them out real quick. Real quick, because I know you're keen to see the finished piece. Actually, maybe I'll flip those out later, hey? It'll be all right. What's that? Oh, there must have been a tiny little bit of black resin left in my ah oh, in my mold oh oh look that's what I was just saying to you I saw someone and it snapped off oh gosh okay that's all right I can easily glue that back on it is not a problem not a problem at all because of where it's snapped it's okay we'll just we'll just glue him back on okay you won't even know See, you won't even know that it's, yep. Okay, all right, be a little bit more careful with those, but just try and try and get the side up over the little ball, like so. All right. Oh, this is exciting, it's exciting. Maybe I'll, um, I might fast forward this section because it's a bit time consuming all right take more careful with the ball this time on all of them yay <laughs> oh look it's it's it, no, it's by no means perfect there's issues i had with it um i am a little bit disappointed you can still see the little gold flicks through the white so definitely definitely um wait until your squares have set beforehand now this one here um i had something in there and i got my little pop stick i think i was trying to move a big piece of gold and i went like this on the other side obviously and my white lifted up so i thought oh my gosh my white's not set properly yet so yeah had that issue but um i actually don't know where these go i think that one i think the rook goes in the in the corner um oh gosh the king goes on the black on that side um, now I don't know about oh, where does the horsey go the knight does he go there or does he go there um, I, I don't know I don't know it's been years literally years since I've played chess so I'll have to I'll have to do a little Google search on um, where they go and um, yeah I know you guys will tell me but in the meantime, I will have looked it up since then. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, um, I'm just going to unmold the the others. Let me get this one. Should be relatively easy. Do you, do you, I don't know. Oh, look, I never know if you want to just watch me do all of this or whether I just get a wriggle on and um, and do it while you're waiting. But I know they do take a little while. Yeah, yeah there he is. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, they've got really great detail on them. All right, um, I'm, I won't bore you unmoulding all of them, or shall I? Tell me, tell me you guys, if you want to watch me like unmould everything, here's a night. Because I, I didn't do that on with the black ones, like I didn't show you me unmoulding all of them and then I felt bad that I didn't show you. So there's a couple of little tiny black pieces that were still stuck in the mold from when I did the black 
but like it's really hard to get in there I got my air duster thing and I blew that out but it's hard to see like if there's something stuck right in the bottom there it, it's hard to see and hard to get out maybe it would have been better if I did the white first oh probably not because then I might have like a white dot on the middle of my black so it's probably not ideal either oh gosh they're not they're not the easiest thing to unmold let's try this I'm gonna we'll spray it over here out of the way though it's just um it's just alcohol but see now my hands are wet and slippery <laughs> Oh gosh, the struggle's real, you guys. The struggle's real because I'm trying to do it gently enough so that I don't snap the top off, obviously. But I still want to do it. I'm gonna be, put a little bit of effort in to get the. What is this one? Oh, it's the queen. There she is. Hello, queen. Welcome. Um, you can sit there. Oh gosh, yeah, the king and the queen are the most difficult because they're the they're the tallest, so they are a bit tricky to get them out. And they've got lots of little ridges and bumps and things. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the um, the checkers because it's not so difficult. <laughs> I probably should have started with the checkers actually. had a second person one person could hold on to that and the other person could maybe wriggle this off it's probably a, a better idea but I don't have anybody here and I gotta be careful I don't want to snap the top off again yay oops he's a little bit bendy still <laughs> there he is oh gosh let's put him there all right um I'm gonna finish the rest I'll be right back Last one, here we go. And uh, while I had you on pause, I checked on Google to see the order. So I've, I've changed them around. Look at that. Is that not just gorgeous? So beautiful. Oh, I love them. So yeah, I, um, I checked the order on Google and I've got the that one there. <laughs> I've forgotten him already. <laughs> oh, I'm no good at this. All right, now let's um, let's fix this little guy. I've got the E6000 glue, and that was good. Look, out of all of that, there was only one broken. Like I think that's pretty good. Hey, just do a little blob there my lid back on I forgot to put my lid on my other one the other day let's put my little lid on okay all right I probably should have actually mm, no I need the glue actually around around there so let me put a little another little dob on and spread it because the little balls hollow so I actually need a little bit more glue And then I'll just spread it with my little toothpick there. If any oozes out, I'll just clean it up with a toothpick later on. You won't be able to see it. Okay, so that's that. Let's put him back on. Da da! Give him a squish. I don't think you can see any glue actually. No, I can't see any. All right, I'll just make sure I've got him straight. I think he's straight. Okay, he can just sit there now. All right. Wow, I tell you that was a that was a labor of love that was. Let me get you down so we can have a little closer look. I will set it up nicely for a photo. 
Sorry about all the, the glary lights, but I need my glary lights to do a video. All right, so there they are. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love them, love them, love them. It's still early in the morning. It's only like 7.30, so I haven't got the best of luck yet. Love them. They feel like they feel really nice. They're quite heavy. Um, they're really, really smooth. They just they just feel really nice to hold. Okay. Let me get a better shot this way. Yeah, there's just lights everywhere. And then of course there's our little gold edge there which matches the gold. But yeah, if you don't want to go to through so many steps, um, like I said earlier, just put your one color in, wait till it's set, and then just pour your background, and um, then that's it. <laughs> you know, it's, it'll be much more simple, but I tend to do things the hard way. That's for sure. Just get your finger out of the way, woman. Look at that. It's so pretty. All right, I will set them up for a nice photo, hopefully without all the glare. Oh, and um, go and have a little rest. <laughs> that was hard work. All right, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, any ideas for other colors? But yeah, I do want to do the checkers in um, burgundy and silver for my daughter, Christy, to match her house. And um, yeah, I'll see you again real soon for the next video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.